Hey, what's happening everybody? Rod J back again to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Going to take a look at one out of Muncie, Indiana. And this is going to come from Three Floyds. It is their Alpha King. There you can see the neat artwork of a warrior on their label. This is an American Pale Ale. Comes in at 6.66% ABV from what I saw online and also 68 IBU. For some reason they don't have the ABV listed on the bottle which is kind of weird. But um, it talks about Alpha King is a bold yet balanced American Pale Ale with slight sweetness and aggressive citrus hoppiness. So online it makes mention it is brewed with Centennial, Cascade, and also Warrior Hops. This is actually considered a uh, flagship beer for Three Floyds and uh, apparently a big hop lover's cult behind it. So I've had this one a few times in the past. First time I'm ever doing a review on it. And so... Uh, Decided to pick one up a while back and go ahead and check it out for you guys. Let's go ahead and get it open and get it into a glass. So there we go, get it into the glass. Actually ended up pouring a little more aggressive than I wanted to. So ended up with a little bigger of a head, about a three to four finger almost. Well, maybe two, two to three. Um, nice, deep, dark, almost reddish amber type color. You get it to the light. A lot of cloudiness there you're not seeing through it not much clarity big haze i guess you can say but out of the light you get that tint back the head though is a nice foamy head um has some nice bubble action taking place in there can't make out any of the carbonation really on the body in or out of the light because of that haze but the head itself also sits kind of barely off white should leave some nice rockiness behind to actually lace the glass but so far a decent looking beer as far as the aroma big notes of that citrus you get the grapefruit you get the orange you get somewhat of the tangerine out of this one comes out of the glass rather easily don't have to sniff too hard to really get to enjoy that now as this one actually heats up a little bit more that'll open up a little bit more of the aroma this one has been out of the fridge for about um, I'll say about 10 minutes or so. So I let it sit for a bit to get everything going on it. Get a little bit of that pine and dankness on the back end as well from the hops. But all in all, pretty decent pale ale. I mean, there's no mistaking that once you take that sniff, you tell it's an American pale ale. As far as the taste, the taste seems to bring some big flavor with it. I mean, it opens up nicely in the mouth. Kind of an explosion. Gets off the tongue rather easily. I'm picking up those uh, flavor notes of the citrus from the hops. Get a slight bit of that malt backbone. It's got a nice balance on it. You can taste a little bit of that malt action. But definitely a hop forward beer. You do have some of that harshness going down on the back end um, from the bitterin. Flavor's got a nice duration. The flavor's kicking around for a nice bit. Fill it all up into the cheek area, which is nice. As far as the bitterness, I'm feeling I'm getting more of that on the finish than I am on the initial. Very nice texture, dry. Pretty nice crisp break on the back end. Doesn't really linger over too much. Not much of an astringency or any type of really after effect along those lines. Not really tasting any alcohol coming through. It doesn't have that overbite that some of the other pale ales do, where it's almost like a medicine-y type taste something that also relates to maybe like a, maybe too much of a tangerine type flavor this one doesn't really have that hanging out there where you don't feel like you're taking kind of a medicine type feel so that's kind of nice in itself as far as the style pretty dead on as an american pale ale you can now see some of the lacing taking place on the glass as i mentioned um, should happen so we got a nice even lacing i do like how it awakens the taste buds at the front of the mouth pretty nicely and that really gets everything else starting to pop. Definitely a nice one to have with some spicy type food like a lot of American Pale Ales. Um, you can really enjoy something like the, uh, that with this kind of beer. And you can also put something like with the burger as well. But all in all, not a bad one. I'm Like I said, I've had this one before, just I've never done a review on it. But um, definitely solid, definitely one I would recommend for anybody that likes American Pale Ales. I think this is definitely one to check out and again this is the alpha king from three floyds out of muncie indiana if you've had it before 
Let me know what you think. Put some comments in the comment section. Chances are, if you've had it before, you probably like it if you're a hophead. If you're not a hophead, probably not the beer for you, but definitely one to check out if you do like that kind of beer. So with that being said, I appreciate you swinging by and check out another video. Hopefully you like what you saw there. I look forward to trying to catch you on the next one. And as always, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that good jazz. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Keep drinking good craft beers. Cheers.